The major complaints from NJ Transit riders is that the agency doesn't properly communicate when trains are canceled or delayed. Difficult at times because of the cancellations on trains, I have no ability to anticipate when I'm going to get where I need to be, when I need to be. And that level of uncertainty has caused me to try to look at alternative ways of trying to get into New York City. Now, NJT is asking for help from an outside consultant. MWWPR was hired in September for a six month period for $250,000. Some passengers say that cash could be spent elsewhere. I think fixing the infrastructure is probably more important than hiring somebody to teach them how to communicate. Others I spoke to say if they can better plan their lives, it's worth every penny. I think they should ought to know how to communicate with me. They get enough of my tax dollars already. But if they need to do that to be more effective, go ahead and do that. MWW is the same company that created the controversial Stronger Than the Storm commercials featuring Governor Christie. The campaign won an award for bringing people back to the shore after Superstorm Sandy, but was criticized for giving Governor Christie publicity with federal dollars. I think if you hire the right leadership, they ought to be able to handle this themselves. And uh, if they can't, then maybe there needs to be new leadership. It's to be determined if MWW's work will be redundant. An audit ordered by Governor Murphy found communication as an area of weakness. A different consultant made several recommendations, including rethinking how it deals with commuters on social media. In Cranford, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. New Jersey Transit says that the East Rutherford Company will conduct a full analysis of its existing communication structure to improve the program. There is no comment from the PR company.